an innocent Sri Lankan Muslim girl, Rizana Nafiq, who went to Saudi Arabia as a housemaid, was convicted of killing the infant of her employer in 2005 and has been sentenced to death without proper inquiries. This unfortunate incident had taken place month after her arrival in Saudi Arabia. She was 17 years old when this incident had taken place. Rizana was forced to leave the country to earn an income and look after the poverty-stricken family of six, which consisted of her father, mother, two sisters, brother and grandmother. She had to sacrifice her schooling life for the sake of educating her brother and sisters. According to the Sri Lankan labor law, only youth who are 18 or above 18 years old could get involved in any employment. The employment agents who sent her to Saudi Arabia had forged her birth certificates to increase her age and obtain a forged passport in her name. Rizana's parents thought that their daughter's income will be helpful for them to build their house and educate their son and daughters. Now this has become a daydream and are traumatized by the plight of their daughter. They also find it difficult to eke out an income for their survival. At present, her father Sultan Nafik, who is a woodcutter, has been admitted in the hospital due to chest pain. The endeavors that were collectively made by the civil society members, well-wishers and the government of Sri Lanka seem to have failed to persuade the Saudi government to waive the death sentence and send her back home. My daughter left Sri Lanka simply to earn some money and ease our poverty. Since this unfortunate incident took place, we have been going through a different type of misery. Not one of lack of food or a proper home, but one of deep anguish, thinking of our daughter's plight. My husband is now sick and is warded at the Mothur Hospital. Whatever mistake my daughter Rizana may have done was purely unintentional and with no malice in her heart. She is an innocent girl. Please pardon her. We pray to Almighty Allah to help us all at this moment in time and also pray to the Almighty to care for you and protect you and your family. The recent floods have brought further hardships to us and we are destitute. My other three children don't go to school. Every day, every waking moment, we think of Rizana and the plight she is in, facing a death sentence. My humble request is to all of you, please do make a request that my daughter, Rizana, will be pardoned so that she can return to her family. Rizana's father is sick after hearing his daughter's condition. He has been very weak and not in a position to recommence his woodcutting work. Only Allah knows the mistake that my daughter has committed. Considering Rizana's family condition situation, her father's sickness and the suffering of her mother, we, all Sri Lankans, plead with the dead child's parent to pardon Rizana.